this is our first our first show back after the after the holidays. How was everyone's break? How was your break, Reg? Was it good? Uh, yeah, I think it was good. Yeah, I did a uh, couple shows. In, did you? Where? Did one show in Missoula, Montana, and then Bozeman, Montana. Okay. And then hung out in Great Falls, Montana. Right. And then I had a, you know, one, just like one friend over for uh, New Year's Eve, which is exactly the vibe, and that was it. That's the vibe? Yeah. One friend for New Year's. One friend for New Year's, yeah. Who was the friend? Uh, this was a professional, no, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. No. What about you, Combs? How was your break? <laughs> it was a good break, man. A lot of, lot of family time. I went to uh, Chicago with, with my fiance and, yeah. uh, and went to Portland. While I was in Chicago, I, I like making a charcuterie plate every now and then. I saw a photo of this. Her mother challenged me to make a charcuterie table. <laughs> a full table, and th they laid down some parchment paper, and then I blacked out and woke up like six hours later <laughs> covered in like mozzarella dust. It was... Have you got the photo? I, well, I could find... What? Look. There it is, look. Yeah. That's on Ian's Instagram. Look yeah. at that for a charcuterie. Wow. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You look more proud in that photo than I've ever seen you show... Yeah. You're prouder in that photo than when you were when you won an Emmy for this show. Yeah. <laughs> Who else had a good break? Anything to share? Anyone got any big news? Anything? Olivia's back. Look at that. <laughs> Olivia's back. back. Olivia, Hi. this is your first day, but you weren't here at the end of last year, were you? No, it's no. my first day back from Matt Lee. You came back for the sketch. You yep. had a little baby. Yes, I had a little baby. <laughs> Had a little baby. Just a little one. Tell me when to stop. How big is your baby now? <laughs> I, I think you passed it. That's it. Yeah, about there. It's exactly that. Yeah, that seems about that's, right size-wise. I can size. hold yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Yes. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a bassinet size. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. My, uh, everything good? My charcuterie table is okay, like Okay, we're talking nine. about a new... <laughs> Talking about, about a newborn... Nine, nine feet, sure. and it's even younger please, than the baby. Please. <laughs> She's great. She's no charcuterie table no, or anything. But she's good. Everyone's well. We're all healthy. Oh, they're fantastic. Yeah, oh, we're so best. happy you're back. This has yeah. really been yeah. brightened up the new year. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Who's that guy? I just I don't, what was that? Who did why was that out? I'm so happy you're back. I don't know what's going on with me hand-wise at the moment. I saw the band before the show. I went, what's going on, guys? I thought. And Guillermo went, are you a guy that snaps now? <laughs> Apparently I am, and we're happy you're back, Olivia. Snaps. <laughs> snaps. I think, you're, I think you're spending too much time with Winnie. I think Winnie's rubbing off on you in a big... Winnie's a big hand person. Oh, she's a massive hand person. Yeah. She's arguably the biggest hand gesture person on the show. Hand vibes. True, but your hand gestures that you just did there, that's like an old man's hand gesture. <laughs> Whereas mine, you know, it's a little hip. Winnie. A little younger. Winnie. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I will joke with you about a lot of things. <laughs> I will, but I will never, ever get on board with a joke that you start about me being some kind of old man. <laughs> Fine. Okay. <laughs> off. <laughs> well, did anyone do anything fun for New Year's? Any New Year's? Oh, yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, no, okay. Yeah. I don't want to... <laughs> Well, we all know that Jeff Bezos had a great New Year's because here's a photo that went viral of him ringing in the New Year with his girlfriend. Look at that. Genuine question, is that a shirt or a tattoo? Nice. It looks like Mr Clean's Tinder profile. Yeah, yeah. It looks like Patrick Stewart got cast in Entourage. Look at that. Look at it. It looks like a generic pit bull costume. <laughs> They're like, on the pack, it would be called something generic, like sort of Miami Dance Man. 
accurate. Look, we could riff on that photo all night long, but it's time to move on. It's time to move on to what the people need, what they've been starved of for the past two and a half week, and that is... Shall I do it in French? I was... Shall yeah. I do it in French? Do it. Of course. Okay, and that is... Le News. <laughs> <laughs> Due to weather conditions and rising COVID cases among crew members, over the last couple of days, airlines have cancelled more than 8,000 flights. 8,000 flights, yeah. It is bad. You know how I got here from the UK? Catamaran. <laughs> Solo sail. <laughs> it took me 16 hours. <laughs> Must be a relief, though, this, for flight attendants. They're like, oh, thank God I've got COVID. I don't have to duct tape another anti-masker for their seat. <laughs> to their seat for at least a week. This is great news. Airlines have cancelled more than 8,000 flights, or, as Spirit Airlines calls that, a Tuesday. <laughs> That's right, just three days into the new year, and we're already telling Spirit Airlines jokes. <laughs> I only put Spirit Airlines jokes in in the hope that we'll get another email from that guy. Uh -huh. Gonna get another hot one. Do you think? I don't know, but I mean, that's... But he didn't, you didn't get a hot one last time, did you? No, because I think calling it out maybe stopped him from writing one. Yes. So I don't know if this will be New Year, I'd New Strength. I'd love to hear from him again. I, I, th I think it's because the internet cafe they get, uh, do they do all their emailing from? <laughs> for the holidays, so. <laughs> That is the most Spirit Airlines thing you could ever imagine. <laughs> is they, they just bundle up a load of pieces of paper and go, right, who's going to go and go down to the internet cafe <laughs> to fire these off in an hour? <laughs> Meanwhile, the weather was so bad in the Washington, D.C. area today, federal offices closed for an official snow day. The area received around 10 inches of snow. LA residents were like, if you think that's bad, last week it wasn't even sunny here. <laughs> I feel like if the federal government closed due to weather, the rest of the country should get the day off as well. This is true. The White House also announced that the daily press briefing would also be cancelled due to the winter weather. If only there was some way, some way to... Do you know what I mean? Be able to work from home by some sort of, I don't know... <laughs> if only there was some sort of video conferencing system <laughs> or something that would allow them to do a press briefing. We've got to get on to that. Hey, James. <laughs> There's a, something called Zoom, and there's a couple other services that do No, it's got... No, I don't believe you. <laughs> In other news, Twitter permanently suspended the personal account of Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene over the weekend because she repeatedly violated Twitter's policy on coronavirus misinformation. They only banned her personal account, not her congressional account, which is also known as her Crazy Light account. <laughs> She was banned from Twitter for spreading blatantly false information about COVID. On the bright side, she is still a full-fledged member of the United States Congress. <laughs> Moving on, does everyone here know what dry January is? You know what dry January... You know where you give up alcohol for the month? Well, apparently, one in five people plan to take part in dry January this year. If you need an alternative, there is nothing drier than good, old-fashioned powdered cocaine. <laughs> 70% 70 of, of dry January participants say that they slept better, 60% said they lost weight, and 100% said that actually iced tea is totally fine. It's better than a gin and tonic, actually. It's totally fine. I love it. I love an iced tea. I don't miss alcohol at all. <laughs> I did think I was going to give it a try, and then I realised that January 12th is National Marzipan Day. And I'll be damned if I'm celebrating that without a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, an annual list was just released of the phrases and words that should be banished because they're overused. Some of the phrases on the list are no worries, you're on mute, circle back and wait, what? While we're at it, we as a team might as well just throw dry January onto that <laughs> list. 
People think overused corporate phrases like you're on mute and circle back should be banished. But you, you would have already known that if, per my last email, you'd leveraged best practices and closed the loop with me. <laughs> and instead of saying you're on mute, people are being encouraged to now say, hey, dumbass, we're two years into this. Get it together. Get it together. <laughs> Nick Bernstein, any no. phrases you'd like to get, to get rid of? Any phrases? I imagine yours is like, are we going on a cruise? <laughs> um, I know I don't really have any phrases uh, that I want to get rid of. I, I, I think the only thing that I've been thinking about this whole time is uh, CVS made today a company holiday, and I didn't know that until I got to work and they sent the email, so I shouldn't even be here right now. <laughs> wow. It's January 3rd, it's the first show back, and somehow we're in the monologue, and you've again managed to make this whole thing about you. <laughs> so hang on, this is, a, this is a holiday day for CBS? Yeah. So why are we here? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Nick. Yeah. yeah, Nick. Even the audience were like, yeah! <laughs> why are we here? <laughs> it's a great question. I don't know. I have to. F I guess I have to find that out tomorrow when everyone's back at work. That is the problem. With a, you can't you can't reply and go. Well, why am I reading this? This is a, this is a, this has been bothering me all day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyone it's else? Nice. Anything? Sorry, I was. Just, it, it is, yeah, it's, yeah. It's nice to see you. <laughs> Oh, Hagar's got one. When someone says, I shouldn't even be here right now. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, I would get rid of that. <laughs> and finally, a former White House advisor to Donald Trump is now promoting a pro-Trump board game that pushes baseless conspiracy theories about the 2020 election. It's called Election 2020, You Decide. Here it is here. Look at that. Right, because who wouldn't want to relive the 2020 election? <laughs> It's like a Trump supporter's fantasy of monopoly, complete with Hillary Clinton spending the entire game locked up in jail. <laughs> I think they blew it on the title, though. I do. A, a conspiracy theory board game should be called Clue Anon. <laughs> and that's the news. We'll be right back with more of The Lele Show, everybody. <laughs>